but you answered my question. <laughs> So yeah, the, so the patterns are changing on the screen. So yeah. Why? What, what is that for? On this screen, what you see yeah. is the product of the, the notes he's playing. Yeah. The product of their consonants with each other. So it's like looking at mountains from above, and the peaks of the mountains are the bright spots, <coughs> and those peaks represent consonants between the different pitches. So he knows where he will find more and less. Uh, consonant combinations. Um. And if he puts one pen on a peak and the other in the darkness, about your work with artificial intelligence in music. The 12 note scale, I have 12 half notes. And we use this system since like almost 300 years, like 200 years and a half on basically most of the music we write and play and, uh, and most musical instruments. So some people might think this is the ultimate system. It's weird to realize that we use the same 12 notes since more than 200 years and a lot of the world around us have evolved. We have smartphone, refrigerator, cars, but we still use the same 12 notes than 200 years ago. So when you think about it, it's like, are we stuck somewhere? Or is it because we are lazy to change that we don't use another system? Because if you think about it, every melody you can play or every chord you can play on the piano was already played by another musician so that you have all these lawsuits about artists making similar chords or similar melody to another artist and all these lawsuits is also a revelation that there is something very limited with those 12 notes because every little melody or every little progression of chords that you make with those 12 notes is going to repeat something else that you already listen into another music. Um. And if he puts one pen on a peak and the other in the darkness, it's going to be very dissonant. But if he puts two, two of the pens on two peaks, it'll be very constant. Mm -hmm. And the brightness of each dot represents the degree to which it's constant. The brightest dots are the most <coughs> constant. But what about the color? And that's because 12 notes is not so much. Like for example, if you have a piece of paper and you have 12 points and you have to draw new shapes with those, linking those 12 points, you will be limited. Like you cannot invent so many different drawings with that at some point, it will be a little bit always the same. So it's a very sharp metaphor about it. So of course, it's amazing to do music with the system. And my view on it is that uh, it's not because we are lazy to change it. So we use 12 notes with equal distance between the half steps uh, since 200 years and a half. In the, in the Renaissance, we used the half notes were not equidistant, there were irregular spaces between the tones. It has some reason, it's hard to explain that in a few minutes. There is a lot of mathematics into it, uh, how the brain understands consonants and dissonance. If I want to make something very simple and descriptive, I would say um, we try to invent some musical instrument on tactile screens. It's like babbling state and to invent some new kind of music or at least new ways to play music. Uh, it's like a keyboard on a screen where you would imagine you would have a little piano tuner who would retune the keys that you play depending on what you play and depending on what you want to play. The keys that you have on the keyboard are changing, some are disappearing, some are retuned. And so it's kind of a keyboard that is evolving while you play on it. So that's the idea of a dynamic scale of music or dynamic intonation or organic tones. play vibrato, you should stay in the same place, I think. Mm -hmm. 
the idea is to to have a matter which is not a fixed uh, system like the piano or the guitar, but a system where the computer actually, with some sort of artificial intelligence, help you to retune the keyboard in real time and find some notes that are not interesting right now for your music that you're playing and focus on some other notes. And the computer is not making the beautiful music uh, instead of you. It's not the similar type of artificial intelligence that we see right now where you, okay, draw me a beautiful uh, landscape with uh, the style of Van Gogh or write me a book and then uh, the artificial intelligence is making everything and you just uh, don't do nothing. The idea is a different type of artificial intelligence where the computer, the program, is actually helping you be more creative. These colors are different, this type of harmony, so if you type those keys, it's going to sound more like this and like this. So you are looking for investment in the US? I'm creating a company where I'm going to employ some software developers to work on this project. That's kind of very ambitious, so... With the amount of money I invest, I can attract developers, or maybe I hope to find investors who want to help me pay those developers to make the projects grow bigger and the research grow bigger, because I think we can really make some tactile instruments on this, uh, even iPhones or iPads, and this is a wonderful support that we haven't been explored so much yet for playing uh, new ways of playing music. So music is about how notes like each other. You have consonances and dissonances. Sometimes notes like each other and sometimes notes don't like each other. Yeah, so it's like humans. Okay. <laughs> Are you wise or not? Um, I try to be wise. It's important to find a way to be wise in some sense, but um, not always easy, I guess. I don't know.